So if you logged into iLock.com today expecting to see this site, instead you were greeted with this site. That's because iLock has updated the way in which you manage your iLock licenses. Now you simply download the free iLock License Manager. It's available for OS X, Windows 32-bit, and Windows 64-bit. I'm on Windows 8 64-bit, so let's download the 64-bit version. So that's downloaded, so now let's unzip the package and we'll go ahead and install the License Manager. Now I already have my iLock drivers and client software installed. I'm not going to uninstall that. We're just going to install this right over it. And let's go ahead and restart our computer. So now we have restarted the computer and the iLock License Manager is installed. I've already created a group and named it here in Windows 8 on the start page. There's also a shortcut here on the desktop, which I don't need. So now let's go ahead and launch the new iLock License Manager. So this is the iLock License Manager. You'll see it is a resizable window. This is where you will manage your licenses. See, we can do things in here such as redeem activation codes, transfer a license to another account, activate licenses and deactivate licenses. We'll sign in here. So I have two iLocks connected right now and it's showing both of those. It's also showing one that's not connected. It's also showing my computer, which I guess is a feature that some manufacturers will support. So the interface is basically a drag and drop interface. We'll say I have a license on one iLock that I need to move to a different iLock so I can move the licenses I need to the iLock I need with just a drag and drop. So here in the manager, we can see things like if a license is a trial license, when it expires, we can see this white flag. If a license has to be surrendered when you're upgrading to a, another license or something like that, we can go up to the file menu here and do things like activate, uh, deactivate, choose how we want to view, go to properties. We can also right click a license and choose show more detail to learn more about that license. So there are a couple policies that have also changed. There used to be a grace period of seven days. Now there is no longer a grace period. So be extra careful when registering your iLock and make sure you sync it to the correct account. You can remove an iLock from your account. However, it has to be empty. So you can't remove an iLock from your account that has licenses on it. You'll have to remove those licenses first before you can deactivate that iLock from your account. There's also a new option in zero downtime coverage called theft and loss coverage. Theft and loss coverage is included free with your zero downtime purchase. So what theft and loss coverage is, is basically it lets iLock give you new licenses instead of having to contact every plugin manufacturer to see if you can get those licenses back. So that's the basics of the new iLock manager. You can download it for yourself at iLock.com.